welcome to code artisan lab this is our 27th tutorial of our laravel blogging website and in this video we will uh, we will do some settings in our admin panel the first setting will be we will fetch the counting of categories post comments and users in the dashboard and we will fetch the uh, post data recent post uh, we will do some uh, we will fetch a recent post in this section and then we will fetch the comments in this uh, here you can see we, we can see the comments when uh, admin click on the comments and we will also fetch the, the users okay so now in this video we will do these things so let's do this so the first thing we will do we will fetch the counting in the dashboard so i'll open the dashboard so here we have a dashboard and open this and in this we will fetch the categories so we know that that categories are available in app models slash category okay and we need counting okay so let's let's see that it is showing the categories okay so here, here you can see we have a two categories and now it's a uh, time to show the posts so this will be post okay so now we have a three post here you can see here you can see it is showing the post and then we need we need comments so it will show the comments so here we can see comment and then user okay so now we are uh, showing the actual data let's change the link now so when user click on the view detail it will redirect on categories post comments and so on respectively so now what we will do here we need to change the url okay so let's see what is the url of categories so it is category and for the comments it will be comment we will create this soon and for users we will create this also okay and uh, one one more thing is actually this will be a post let's see what is the url for post yeah so this is post and now for the uh, category so this will be get okay now let's fetch the post here so now it's time to, it's turn to fetch the post so we will open uh, we are showing the post here in this section so we will t body so i'll remove this so many data here so what we will do we will remove this data and we will fetch this post so what we will need what we need to do we need to pass the data in the dashboard resource so we will open the app http controller uh, admin controller and here we will pass the data so what we need to do first we need the post model okay and then we will fetch the data dollar post equal to post all okay and uh, one thing more we will do do this we will not fetch the data with all we will fetch data with get method because we need order by id descending order by id descending okay and here we will pass the data pass the data dashboard so we are passing now and here we will show for each uh, actually we will copy the table from the uh, our post section so i will backend post index so i will copy this table so i'll copy this and here yeah okay so let's see so it is saying that undefined variable data actually this will be post yeah. 
so now we are fetching the we are fetching the posts and uh, as we discussed we have uh, we have changed the dashboard section and now it's time to show the comments so when user click on the comments we will show the comments so what we need to do i will copy the category index page uh, i will copy the category index page and uh, let's uh, let's open the category index page category index page copy and i will create one more folder comment and here i will paste this okay and uh, in the in the admin controller we will create the comment section show show all comments function comments and we will pass the comments so here we will pass the comments so comment and we also need to fetch the data we will fetch the data here comment ok and uh, yeah so I will say data 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 and this will be a comment dot index post let's open the file in the comment file yeah <coughs> meta description it needs meta description i'll show here all comments all comments and in the title i'll say same thing all comments and here will be comments and we will not add comments from the backend and it will be user that who is commenting and this will be comment so this will be user this will be comment and data and i will say this comment so this will be comment id comment user uh, email okay and here we will show the comment and we don't need this admin admin uh, comment comment id delete we don't need this time uh, one more thing we need we need to set the route so we will set the routes web and we will set the route for the command so this will be let's say <coughs> this so this will be command and this will be admin controller so, admin controller and here we will show the comments ok and let's now let's see comment uh, we also need to change the change the sidebar so we will go to the backend and uh, layout layout and uh, in the sidebar so here is the sidebar so we can dashboard setting so where is the sidebar let's see dashboard okay so we need to dashboard category post comments and here we will show the comment and this will be admin command actually we need to set admin command yeah 
now let's go to the comment trying to get a property of uh, property email actually comment is not let's say if here we need to put the condition that if if comment let's go to the uh, php admin and see if if comment user id uh, i'll say if not empty if not empty user id then this will show the email else it will not show empty <coughs> okay and uh, now we will perform this delete action we will delete the comment from the database so let's uh, do this also so i will create uh, one more function admin uh, what is uh, what is we are creating the url admin comment comment id and delete so admin comment comment id sorry and delete so here we will say delete comment okay and uh, let's create the functionality for this so i'll i'll copy the functionality from the post controller because we have created the delete functionality so here we will copy this and paste in the so i'll say delete okay and where so it will be comment delete redirect admin admin comment okay so now let's try to delete this comment delete so it is saying that method method is wrong so we have actually we need we are doing same thing admin comment okay we will change the let's change the url admin comment delete so i'll say admin comment delete dot comment id okay. admin comment delete comment id okay and so it is a command delete so it is saying that delete comment does not exist so why it is delete comment we need to actually we don't need to change the <coughs> route actually we have to change the method delete delete okay so we are doing the same things okay so we have deleted the comment now we need to do we will uh, show the users and uh, we will we will work on the user section so we have uh, set settled our command section we have settled our dashboard now it's time to settle our user section so let's let's go to the user section actually we need to change the and go to the layout and in the user section we don't need that we don't need the drop down actually we just need the we just need the single single method uh, single url single link yeah. so here we will change uh, here we will change users users yeah so this is users now and here we will say user and uh, with the same process we will uh, we will do this for users as we we have done for comments we will uh, do the same process for the users okay so let's uh, create the route for this admin route for uh, users uh, it will be before comments post post copy paste and here we will show posts 
Okay, is not post over here showing users sir. Admin user, user delete and delete user. Mm, yeah, so it's fine now. And we will copy this whole data and create new and save in the user panel. And here we will save blade.php. Okay, and here we will save all users, all users. And here we will show users. So this will be. So let's say what we have for that. Uh, what we have the data for user. It is an email and name. So we will show the name and email. Okay, name and email. And the data will be data will be from for user. So user ID and user name and user uh, we will say user email are you sure want to do uh, add comment user. and here user. okay so now we have created the resource we have created the route and uh, now it's time to create the controller method so here we will show all users users and here we will say user and we will also fetch the user model user okay. and the uh, command we have a user delete user and user okay now it's uh, fine now now let's uh, go to the go to the layout and uh, change one thing more okay now we, now we, we have changed the URL. let's go to the user section and user is coming now and uh, let's try to delete this so delete so user has been deleted so we have settled our all admin section except bread column so uh, I'll I leave this bread crumbs and uh, it is uh, it is your task to do and I will I will upload the code for uh, I will upload the code on github but but I will uh, I just want to do this on yourself that uh, how to do bread crumbs I will do this but uh, I will not add the tutorial here for the breadcrumb but I will create this breadcrumb in this project and upload on uh, github so you can download the project so <coughs> we have settled our admin dashboard now we will uh, in our next video I will uh, do some final changes on the front end so if anything is missing then please uh, comment and uh, if you want any improvement or anything then please comment and please download the uh, whole source code from the github and uh, you can change anything you want okay so i will update this code with database on my github so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my uh, channel code artisan lab and please like this video share this video as much as you can so thank you thank you so much